Hi, my name is Jaleel Smith. I'm formerly the bass trombonist of the Hawaii Symphony, but I'll be joining the Kansas City Symphony in the 2022-2023 season. This morning, I'd like to talk a little bit about what's important to me musically. Um, when prepping for an audition, um, I like to think about time, intonation, rhythm, style, um, and pitch. I like to think about those things because when prepping for an audition, you know, you're playing for a panel of various musicians. Many of these musicians don't necessarily think about music the same way we do as trombonists. Trying to approach subjective and an objective um, crowd can be tricky. I like to set goals by trying to improve one thing every time I practice, whether it be the time, the rhythm, style, pitch, or intonation. And the way I go about this is always practicing with the metronome, with the tuner, and recording myself. I generally like to start each practice session by just taking one run and recording an excerpt straight from the top to the bottom. After recording it, I like to listen back and I try to isolate one thing that I like to improve. Generally practicing, I try to make these sessions from excerpt to excerpt no more than 10 to 12 minutes each. Remember, practicing excerpts, it's a game of inches. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I like to start with Brahms 1. This chorale is a very famous chorale. It can show up in a solo round of an audition. It could show up in um, a section round of the audition. But this particular excerpt can present several challenges that I think need to be practiced out before you go and show up to an audition or play this in a master class. This particular excerpt can be tricky for a few reasons. It's a soft chorale passage. It's got several sustaining G's that have varying dynamics. Varying dynamics can make intonation tricky. And also being the bass trombone in a section, you have a very different role than the first and the second. Here's Brahms' first chorale. <laughs> couple things that I think could help separate one's performance from many others would be to think about dynamics. You start at a piano and by bar six or seven later on you're down to a pianissimo but I think there's a big danger in starting too soft. You start too soft you have nowhere to to go. I think and I like to think about this excerpt as starting I'd say piano plus. Remember as a bass trombonist you're more or less a platform that the first and second trombones have to stand on. So you don't want to start too soft. So in practicing this, I like to even go overboard. <laughs> Playing those beginning A's and having some real direction to the D is also really important. But remembering don't try to play too soft. A full, full-bodied, warm sound is what the first player and the second player are really going to be relying on when you play this excerpt. Remember, piano doesn't mean timid, it just means soft. <laughs> Another part of this excerpt that I'd like to work on is closer towards the end. Dynamically, the mezzo forte is the height of this excerpt. The mezzo forte 
should actually be played just maybe a little fuller and a little rounder than just a written mezzo forte. If you play this a little rounder, a little bit more pronounced, it'll give you some room to really digress into the diminuendo and the fermata that comes later. It should sound something like this. Brahms 1 is a very difficult excerpt for one very important reason. It's a softer excerpt, and generally in audition situations, one's heart rate tends to increase, one's nervous, one's sweating, and all around very difficult to control one's breath. A way to practice this and to continue to get better at playing soft excerpts under pressure is simply to play around more people, play for people, and put yourself in those situations. The way I like to practice that is by doing jumping jacks and burpees before I run my excerpts in my practice session. Such that you have somewhere to go a couple bars later in the din. din the din, the din.